Good morning. It is Tuesday, July 21st. Yesterday was my first full day on my private retreat, and I spent the day at Noah's Ark. It was a sight to behold. Of course, I do believe the builders took many literary licenses in building it, as I don't think that Noah uh, had any dinosaurs with him. But nonetheless, the concept was amazing. The length of the boat was just amazing. And one of the things that struck me halfway through there, especially as I was at the halfway point and they said, from this point forward is the length of a jumbo jet, from this point forward is the length of the Great Sphinx. And I thought to myself, go big or go home. You know, we say that so often in our lives, don't we? Go big or go home. And one of the things that we often fail to consider, and I'm one of them, I realized yesterday, is that God goes big too. He's not going home, so he goes big. God's love for us is huge. God's mercy for us is huge. God's saving love is complete. Jesus was so in love with his people, past, present, and future, that he died to forgive all of our sins. That is huge. And one of the things I thought about through all that is, so often I fail to take into account the huge things that God has done for me. You know, we become so used to our many blessings that we often forget to thank God for them. When was the last time we just looked at a sunrise or sunset and said, thank you, God? When was the last time that some simple little blessing came into our lives and we said, thank you, God? There is so much for which we should give thanks to our Lord because he always goes big for us. That's the thought I'd like to leave you with this morning. Go big or go home? God's not going home. He's going to give us a chance to come home one day. But until that moment, he's always going to go big for us. How big are we willing to go for him this day? God bless you today and every day of your lives.